So, good morning, everyone. We would like to make a brief presentation of ourselves in front of the jury. I'm Tommaso, and I studied business and economics in Rome. I'm Alessia, and I'm attending a uh, master's degree in linguistics. Good morning, I'm Chiara, and I am a law student in Rome. And uh, I'm Matteo, and I study economics here in Rome. Now I'm going to share my screen so I can present. Let's, uh, let's start. Okay, so uh, the main issue of Naomi as an organization is not being financially sustainable, as it heavily relies on funds by Christian churches located in Germany. Uh, this major problem may be in turn due to a couple of minor ones, which are the issues related to the migration flows and the economic situation of Greece. Uh, Greece is, is actually one of the weakest countries of the Eurozone, both in terms of uh, GDP and the rate of unemployment. Uh, the main missions of Naomi are to uh, integrate the workers in uh, the Greek labor, the refugees in the Greek labor market, um, and uh, making a social and environmental impact. Uh, but the second mission, we would like to stress the fact that Naomi is not just a is not a, a cash-oriented business, but more a social one. Uh, in order to overcome this major problem of, a, uh, of a financial uh, financiability, um, we, we have a wide range of policies that might be implemented. For instance, Naomi uh, has to provide added value products in the sense that uh, uh, the story behind the products has to be emphasized uh, uh, as we believe that it is the main element which can uh, differentiate the business from its competitors. So literally, um, customers have to fall in love with Naomi's products. So by making them meaningful to customers, uh, we believe that uh, the business is able to, uh, to reach a strong competitive advantage over competitors. Uh, in order to show the, the solution, the, these policies, we decided to use the theory of change which is a framework uh, enabling us to, enabling actually Naomi to set the long-term goals uh, of the organization. Its long-term goal is uh, to, be, to become financially sustainable. And in order to do that, uh, there are several actions which might be taken into account. For instance, uh, there should be a, um, a product differentiation in particular uh, an horizontal one, uh, for, for instance, by adding quotas inside products boxes in the native language of refugees. Um, moreover, uh, cost leadership might not be wise as uh, Naomi might not be able to um, level of prices below the average pricing of industry as a result of this added value we want to put in, in Naomi's products. Um, therefore, uh, moreover, we uh, we suggest Naomi to better manage the value chain, uh, in particular by uh, backward integration, uh, as there have been problems regarding shipments lately. Um, moreover, Naomi may focus itself on, on its core business, which, which is the textile sector, and it will be enough for the company, uh, as according to the last financial statement of Naomi, uh, the, the earnings from the textile branch of the business accounted for the for the most part of the of the annual uh, revenues of the annual total revenues, and uh, eventually uh, we suggest uh, a change in the business organization, making it less centralized and more focused on uh, on uh, employees' needs, which are uh, by the way the refugees. So the Romans aim by creating the survey was to better understand which product could have been the best one for Naomi's target market. To get out of its financial difficulties, Naomi has to focus on developing products that will be highly appreciated by customers. Actually, the survey does not show the whole market idea on Naomi's products, but rather it can give a small insight into it. We gathered about 250 responses uh, to basic questions as individuals, gender, age, whether they would buy a product coming from an organization like Nahomis, 
uh, the survey asked what the kind of products were. The, um, they would prefer to buy between t-shirts, water bottles, uh, blankets, scarves, and bracelets. Uh, as you can see in the data in our presentation, uh, the results were in favor of bracelets, so in favor of easier but more popular products, aiming to increase sales by reducing overall costs. In the future, Romans do believe that Naomi will focus on making t-shirts, bracelets, and blankets. We excluded from the survey the water bottle, uh, even if the 35% of people voted for it. Just because uh, Naomi's product line is based on the use of mainly one material, organic fabric. We do believe that the new catalog will be based on the results obtained by the survey, which highlights what would be the most popular products that the customers is more likely to pay a small amount of money for a simple product rather than a larger amount for a harder product such as a jacket. Therefore, the new product line uh, will focus on these three products, offering them at small prices. So our team proposes a new marketing plan and the first step to give concreteness to this plan could be to create a social media account for Facebook, but also for Instagram, the platform of preference for young adults, making it a perfect tool for Naomi to uh, spread its message to young generation, which will become the adult generation of the future. The second step could be improve the website of Naomi, which currently is very poor, but uh, most uh, of all difficult to use. So we propose, for example, to introduce images or photos of the refugees or of the sewing classes, so that Naomi could tell the story behind its product, which could be the key to its success. Moreover, with the introduction of the quotes in the product packages, Naomi would be able to start a social media campaign by posting pictures or stories of the quotes using an hashtag. So Naomi could get in contact with a certain influencers forming partnership with them so that they can sponsor Naomi's products to their followers. In the end, a specific focus must be put on the value Naomi creates and the value uh, it brings wherever its products are shipped. A customer sees the product and uh, uh, knows uh, what's behind it. Uh, and Naomi's product creates connections, uh, real connections. So uh, now we come to the main problem. As explained before, we believe that a good restructuring of the management, making it more less centralized, can really make the whole organizational aspect more efficient, including its shipments. But the main issue for Naomi, as explained, is its procurement of funds. So we think that Naomi has to implement a diversification of its procurement of funds, whereas it has to rely and create different uh, fund, uh, sources for funding. Some of the examples we explained in the business plan are the ones about uh, making crowdfunding, crowdfunding campaigns using uh, the internet or uh, having networking events uh, at their locations where they can raise funds. But the biggest one, we believe it's a fundraiser using Naomi's contacts, such as Elka. It would be a really nice and great opportunity to use Elka's campuses all over Europe to do fundraisers for Naomi. And... Uh, just by the uh, large amount of campuses Elka has, uh, uh, this kind of fundraiser can really make an impact in Naomi's finances and make it less reliable on the four churches, which are not a steady income for the organization. And then uh, we included a SWOT analysis to consider the risks and the various strengths, uh, to consider the risks of this strategy. And obviously Naomi has many strengths, uh, such as the way the product is made, so the history behind it, but also the weaknesses, which uh, is not just the cost of making it that way, but the uh, the way that Naomi is not known, not much known in the world. But they give it, that gives it the opportunity to grow by just reshaping its organization, and uh, by growing can really make an impact uh, for its customers. 
obviously there are some threats this can be uh, just Naomi's finances or it can be anything such as the global pandemic we're living now which is a threat to the operations so finally we um, finally we want to talk about the social value aspects of the of the organization which is why Naomi is important because Naomi um, Naomi needs to grow Naomi obviously needs to grow its finances and be uh, able to be profitable in the future, but it is essential to remember that just one of Naomi's products can influence the lives of somebody. So in order to do that, Naomi just might, might have to take really hard decisions, such as the ones of cutting its product line and focusing on smaller products. But at the same time, that can give it the opportunity to grow. And by growing, it can really spread its value all over the world and can really provide fair and ethical jobs to the refugees. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Romans, for your presentation. You also stick to the time, so congrats for that. <laughs> I'm very, very glad that you're all sticking to the time. And now let's begin with the feedback and question and answer round, beginning with uh, Alessandro Signorini. Uh, Professor Signorini, uh, any comment, question? You know, can we at this exit from the screen so that I can see all of them? Because uh, yes, uh, Matteo, could you please uh, stop uh, sharing the screen? Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay. Okay, guys. So, you know, uh, very good name. You know, we I'm I'm, I'm from Rome as well, so you know, I really like it. Uh, but the, the the issue here is that you know, uh, reading your. Uh, um, business plan and also uh, listening to your presentation, what I noticed that is not clear uh, what is uh, your uh, primary segment, you know, and, and in particular, which uh, uh, international market, which specific international market you plan uh, to uh, target. That is something very important for, uh, you know, a, a marketing plan and a business plan as well. So I would like to, you know, because you, for, I, I give you an example. You talk about uh, products like bracelets, but probably products like bracelets are uh, more targeting a younger segment, while uh, a old, slightly older segment would prefer uh, other products. I don't see a professional that is 40 years old going around with a bracelet at work. So, you know, the, the, the issue here is that really is, uh, what is your primary market? Uh, can you give me an idea and what is the market, the international market that you want to target? Greece, Germany, Italy, where would you like to go? So uh, our primary market will still be Naomi's primary market, which is Greece and uh, mainly Germany, because that's where Naomi has, has really strong connections, uh, obviously in, for the most part thanks to its founder. But at the same time, Naomi has the ability to expand this primary market to that of Europe as a whole by focusing on the connection it has through its various networking connections. As we explained, EUCA is a big resource for that because having campuses all over the all over the all over Europe, it can have an effect. You can just think about the event like the old challenge we're doing it includes campuses from all over europe whereas uh, these campuses all over europe now know about naomi and uh, will maybe some of the students there want to buy a naomi's product now so the, our primary market is still going to be greece especially uh, naomi's surroundings because naomi does a lot of activities in the community there so it's really well known but also uh, germany where its roots are from but in the future, we believe that expanding to the wider Europe can uh, have an impact on Naomi for its growth. And so, sorry, just, you know, the, well, what you plan to do in uh, different campuses is uh, selling products uh, or uh, doing fundraising? It can, be, uh, it can be both. We will start with fundraising, obviously, because the main issue is the finances issue. Mm -hmm. but uh, uh, after that, you can really focus on selling products uh, to the campus's students. 
Okay, thank you. Also, I'm sorry, I would like to add something. Uh, also because we um, gathered that uh, the best strategic partners for us are uh, schools or university and also young people because by our uh, survey, we gathered then uh, that the 60% of uh, people are young. So we think that the best strategic partner, partners would be university or young people, schools. Thank you so much. Okay, now uh, I would like to ask uh, Nicola Sartinelli if you have any question or feedback to the, to the team. Yes, just uh, a couple of feedbacks. The first one is uh, always coming back to the topic of the sourcing of the funding, the source of funding. So it seems from your business plan that uh, the way you want to make uh, the business sustainable is more like diversifying the funding. Uh, for me, this is not really sustainable. I understand that there could be always a structural part that is coming from, uh, let's say, charity. So maybe it could be at 20%, 30%, but I would rather focus more on the product, on the sales. Uh, second point is more about the management. Uh, I like the idea of to, to having a not centralized management, so to have more people working for the company, but uh, in order to do this, uh, you need to focus first on the product development and on the market. So I think the management problem should be like uh, sold after maybe two, three years. So yeah, these are my two feedbacks. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I would like to answer to the second question in particular. Um, I, I, but we think that uh, actually the the managing issue might might be presented like straight for a, like uh, a straight because. Uh, um, uh, we can exploit the, the fact that refugees are, uh, they could be potentially a great source of, of employment. So uh, we, we think that the, the issue regarding the, the, the structure may, may be faced uh, up front, like uh, um, uh, we, um, by, by um, Managing the, the migration flows and and the recruitment inside the the the, firm, the, the organization, we can deal with with this problem like uh, on on the on first day, let's say. And also going off of that, on the business plan we explained, and that's what we gather from uh, our event in our events in Bonn. It's that there was a big issue where the management was really involved in the product the developing part and the design. And at times, not always, at times it could slow the process down. But uh, we also uh, understood that uh, Naomi really relies on volunteers. And uh, uh, what Tommaso said about the refugees being a great source for employment, we believe that refugees can be a great source of to get volunteers. It can be temporary, obviously, but with the set guidelines, that it's easy to understand and easy to implement. The change in volunteers can, the risk in changing volunteers, maybe three to four months, can really be minimized. Okay, uh, now uh, Ulrich uh, Gensch, please. Do you have any feedback or questions to the Romans team? Yes, uh, a short feedback and one question. Um, I was very pleased that you pointed out these three problems, the funding, the management, and the uh, product um, issues as the main issues, um, which is uh, the same as I see the problems. But uh, I have one question. Um, did you count out, did you uh, measure how many bracelets you have to pro produce and you have to sell um, that uh, Naomi can survive to cover the costs and to be profitable? Um, we uh, we did not because it was our understanding that the financial part was not um, was not to be done, but uh, we so we did not do an analysis. Whereas we had to calculate how many products we had to sell. We we did believe that by reducing the type of products that Naomi was making and making them easier, 
it could really scale up the production and the sale at the same time. But we did not do uh, a financial calculation for that because we, I, I, we understood that we were supposed to. Okay. Okay, uh, now it's uh, the turn to the juror, um, Lorenzo Ricciardi Celsi. Uh, please, do you have any question or, or feedback to the team? Yeah, um, just a, a short feedback, uh, uh, because my main observation was uh, the same as Professor Signorini, so you already answered uh, the question. Um, a short feedback about the presentation. Um, in the, when you uh, described uh, the, the product offer, um, you mentioned uh, that you are going to focus uh, mainly on three products. Uh, this was not so clear from the presentation layout. So just a minor remark, uh, when you have uh, um, not uh, so much time to present your work, uh, uh, please try to, to be uh, clear. But of course, in my opinion, the presentation was, uh, was very well organized, uh, so this is uh, just a minor remark. Another one is that uh, when you mentioned the SWOT analysis, uh, you uh, titled uh, the slide the SWOT analysis uh, uh, with the final H. I don't know any SWOT. I, I know the um, SWOT word. Um, so please proof uh, yeah, me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, there was a miss. Uh, there was a misspelling. Yeah, you're right. There was, yeah, there was but to be an that's H. just a, a, yeah. a very minor remark. Uh, as I said, the presentation was uh, well organized uh, uh, in its uh, um, in its whole. So that's my my feedback. Thank you. Thank you for your feedback. Thank you, Lorenzo. And now we are going to Helge Dersen. Uh, do you have any feedback, questions, Helge? The uh, team? First of all, happy belated birthday to your city and uh, <laughs> your group, guys. Uh, you just turned, well, very old, apparently. Um, my feedback, um, everything has been said already. I just have um, a short question regarding the survey, because I was really interested how you conducted the survey and managed to find a non-biased target group, because you mentioned 240 participants, but how did you select them? How uh, did you, you know, try to find a not biased target group for the survey? We just spreaded uh, our survey um, through our uh, families or friends um, um, from our university college. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, so now we are going to the website uh, euros. Uh, first of them is Maria Giulia Palocci. Maria Giulia, any comment, uh, questions to the team? So um, I like very much the format you chose. Um, I have to say that the template is interesting and in my opinion it's perfect for an NGO because it focuses on pictures with a nice emotional impact that could be very it could help very much in bringing visitors to both Naomi's reality and to the e-shops. But uh, on a negative side, the, the pictures used are with a very bad quality, especially the, the main pictures you show at the end of the, in the homepage. And also the fonts you use is not very clear. So, um, I think that uh, when you want to use pictures for this emotional imp impact, you have to choose very high quality pictures with without cutting people's heads or, I mean, uh, it was a bit weird to see it in um, at the beginning. Then another thing is that the e-shop is almost empty. <laughs> you just uploaded three items. Um, so sometimes uh, I see that the website is not very consistent and a bit poor in context and in content and technology. Also, you you put one video, maybe you could uh, put a bit more. And uh, um, two more things. One, you mentioned the importance of, uh, of social media, but the two logos of Facebook, uh, Facebook and Instagram in the website are, are almost hidden at the, in the Footer. So if you think that it's very important for your uh, marketing plan, uh, you should uh, uh, put it in a more, more relevant uh, place. 
And uh, um, my question is uh, also regarding the partners that you, you mentioned to Euka, you said uh, about the Euka Psychology. So probably when you say that, you can also insert this kind of uh, pages, uh, also like connections, links, partners uh, in uh, one section, specific section of the website. So um, well for the template, but poor for the content. Uh, yes, but uh for the images, the photos and uh, that we use on uh, the website and on uh, our presentation for the, uh, for the Naomi, um, the images were, um, we had uh, uh, were not uh, many. So um, we use uh, what uh, uh, currently uh, we had uh, for this. And uh, also regarding the, the fact you mentioned about uh, uh, the three products that we showed in the in the website, uh, we did it in, in, on purpose in the sense that, uh, as we uh, explained in our business plan, we want to cut the product offering. We want to to make them essential in order to enhance quality. So uh, showing three products is is uh, done on purpose, also as a result of the survey we conducted. Okay, well, it, it appears a bit poor, I mean, even without a specific description and uh, probably it has, it could be developed in a different way, okay, because otherwise it's like, ah, there is a e-shop with these three blankets and, uh, and it's done. So we know that uh, it's very important, uh, <laughs> the e-shop for the website. It wasn't uh, very well developed, that, that's all, but good for the rest. Okay. Thank you. And now we are going for the last, uh, for the, with the last euro, which is Georgia Aslanido. Uh, she couldn't be introduced at the very beginning because uh, she arrived slightly late, but she's uh, witnessed the whole presentation. So welcome, Georgia. And please, uh, if you want to make the feedback of Christine. I will speak about the website. Uh, actually, I heard a bit of your presentation and it was quite concrete on some aspects. And for this, my question related to the website is if you think that the presentation you do um, is, a, is a enough, is adequate. Because uh, as you mentioned about your survey and analysis and about transporting with the jobs of the immigrants and so on. So do um, you think that the way that you presented your, all these ideas in, in your website is it enough? Because apart, I mean, um, apart from the part that the sorry, I was I, I have the, the website on in another screen, in another screen. Apart from the fact that the shop is empty um, and it seems a little bit poor on your main page, on your home page, you don't um, present the product at all. I mean, you don't give a glimpse to the viewer in the home page of what is this kind of product we're talking about. And then you have, uh, as I scroll down, I can link to the learn more button. I have the about us button and I have the donate and I have the learn more. And all these buttons lead to the about, which is a little bit... Uh, it can be confusing maybe put of content and then when you uh, when you link in the first uh, line in the very very welcome to the learn more uh, you have the learn more button and it links to the contact it means you send the user to the contact form so that if they want to learn more they have to send an email with a question i would expect if i wanted to learn more to go to some uh, page where they would give me extra information. So you have a two, I mean, you are not reading properly in my aspect to the information that you present that is important for you. So uh, first of all, thank you for the feedback because on the website part, we, we do understand that uh, maybe could have done a bit different. We could have focused more on the story and uh, maybe uh, show even though it was three products that show them better maybe focus on the story of the product itself and uh, but we don't uh, we understand that 
and um, yeah, the we try to uh, we try to fo to make the website by focusing just you know on the mission and uh, the homepage really where we try to tell the story, but it can obviously be done better. And uh, we believe that in the event, if if hypothetically the website gets chosen, gets chosen. Obviously, all these fixes we just talked about can be made to improve the website and its overall user experience. Okay, and just one more remark, one more feedback that it, it relates with uh, with words again and with how we use words to create an environment. I would um, suggest instead of donate to use the word support because it makes it creates a feeling of uh, of a team not of someone who is somewhere in a different planet and then has the money or the or the mood to donate it makes more of a feeling of the of the of a teamwork somehow because the templates i mean if you choose a template for charity or for ngo or for environmental i don't know some environmental uh teamwork uh, they, they give you the word but still on the template you can work and you can add your identity that's from from my part okay okay so thank you thank you very much for your for the feedback you rose thank you very much for your presentation and your work uh, romance you've done great and i think you deserve a uh, online <laughs> <laughs> applause thank you